All guns and no girls makes a Russian a dull boy. I've kidnapped FPS Russia, taken them to Vegas, I'm gonna introduce him to a little pussy. In this video, we discuss the king of Instagram, Dan Bilzerian, then and now. Bilzerian is now 40 years old and has over 32 million Instagram followers living a very controversial lifestyle. Yet many don't know him beyond his social media post and life. He has been in several controversies, too many to count. Not to worry though, we'll get into them. Here is Dan Bilzerian, then and now. Daniel Brandon Belzerian, as named, was born on the 7th of December in the year 1980 in Tampa, Florida. As an American actor, an amateur poker player, a businessman, and a social media influencer, he is the son of a corporate takeover specialist, Paul Belzerian, his Armenian father, and Terry Stefan, his mother. He has a brother, a fellow poker player, Adam Belzerian. Dan Bilzerian tried to attend several schools, but he never graduated. He later enrolled at the University of Florida, where he majored in business and criminology. For Dan Bilzerian's poker journey, he was introduced to poker by his brother. He finished in 180th position in the 2008 World Series of Poker main event that he played in. He was voted in 2010 as one of the funniest poker players by Bluff Magazine on Twitter. Dan Bilzerian was one of those sued in November 2011 over a debt of winnings of which they had been paid in a non-contract poker games by Toby McGuire. Dan Bilzerian in November 2013 posted a claim that hasn't been fully verified that he won $10.8 million from just a night of playing poker. He claimed in 2014 that he won $50 million throughout that year as well as adding that he doesn't play against professionals anymore, and the most he's ever lost in a single session is $3.6 million. Dan Bilzerian runs Ignite International Brands LTD, headquartered in Toronto, Canada. Ignite is a public company that sells vodka, electronic cigarettes, water bottles, CBD oils, and other products. They began trading under the Bills F ticker in January 2019 and reportedly lost $15 million plus that same year, mostly on office rental and marketing expenses. Dan Bilzerian is involved in a lot of controversies. He sued the producers of Lone Survivor, the film where he has just one line in 2014. His lawsuit stated that he invested $1 million in the film in exchange for at least 80 words of dialogue and screen time at least eight minutes, but which was later reduced to just a line and less than one minute of screen time. His lawsuit demanded $1.2 million, which was his original investment and also 20% of it. The lawsuit was dropped later and it was reported that Dan Bilzerian generated a revenue of $1.5 million due to the commercial success of the film. Dan Bilzerian, in August 2014, was banned from a Miami nightclub for kicking a model, Vanessa Castano, in the face during a brawl. Bilzerian defended himself that the model and another woman attacked his female companion, while Castano stated that the two girls were standing next to her at the table that were fighting, and people were getting shoved and she tried separating the fighting girls. Then Dan Bilzerian pushed her off the banquet and kicked her in the face when she fell. Also in 2014, Dan Bilzerian was involved with an adult actress, Janice Griffith, in Legal Matter. They were both featured for the Hustler magazine photo shoot in April 2014. The shoot involved Dan Bilzerian throwing the actress off the roof of a house into a pool. Janice Griffith, the adult actress, fell short of the pool and broke her foot by hitting the edge of the pool. The 18-year-old actress asked Dan Bilzerian for $85,000 for her injuries but was rejected. She later filed a lawsuit against both Dan Bilzerian and Hustler in December of that same year. On the 9th of December 2014, Dan Bilzerian was arrested at Los Angeles International Airport on unconnected bomb-making charges. He was arrested, according to the Los Angeles Police Department, on a fugitive warrant from Nevada and was booked around 10 p.m. at the LAPD's Pacific Division. Dan Bilzerian was arrested for attempting to make a bomb. Apparently, authorities caught him with the ingredients to make a bomb, and he was arrested due to a, a warrant in uh, Nevada. 
He was later on the same day of his arrest, released after the charges against him were dropped, but scheduled to be arraigned in Clark County, Nevada in January 2015. Dan Bilzerian, in February of 2015, pleaded no contest to a charge of a misdemeanor for negligently failing to extinguish a fire in open, in which he was fined a sum of $17,231.50. He was sued by the ex-president of Ignite, Heffernan, for wrongfully terminating his appointment because Heffernan criticized Dan Bilzerian's misappropriation of a company's funds for his lavish lifestyle as claimed by Heffernan. Dan Bilzerian asserts that his wealth is the outcome of his successful gambling career, and not because of his father's wealth. Some speculate that Dan Bilzerian's wealth was inherited from his father, Paul Bilzerian. A trust fund that was reported to be worth around $12 million in Symmetric stock set up for Dan and Adam Bilzerian by their father to be split evenly by them. Dan's funds became accessible to him when he turned 30 in 2010. In October 1, 2017, Bilzerian was criticized for his action during the Las Vegas shooting. Bilzerian was present at the Las Vegas shooting and filmed himself several times that evening, posting his videos to Instagram. In the first, he described the shooting as he was fleeing to safety. In the second, he stated that he had to go grab a gun and was on his way back. He was even searching police cars to find a gun. Dan Bilzerian, with his brother and father, flew to Armenia on the 28th of August 2018 to take their oaths to obtain Armenian citizenship and join the Armenian Armed Forces. He visited a shooting range in the Republic of Artsakh on that same trip and fired weapons there, causing Azerbaijan's government to send a note of protest to the United States due to the contested status of Artsakh. An arrest warrant was issued for Dan Bilzerian and a court in Baku, putting him on the international wanted list. Two years after the issue, Dan Bilzerian and his family members donated to the Armenian Fund a sum of $250,000 to support Atsakh and Armenia against Azerbaijan during the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict in 2020. Dan Bilzerian, due to his drug abuse, is reported to have suffered from two heart attacks before the age of 32. He splits his time between his homes in Los Angeles, Hollywood Hills, Nevada, and California. He has two goats named Zeus and Beatrice. Dan Bilzerian's net worth as of 2021 is estimated to be $200 million. Despite nearly 33 million followers on Instagram, he isn't very active. In fact, he's far more active on his Twitter account where he has over 1.2 million followers. In early 2021, he posted on Twitter about his company Ignite, which we referred to earlier in the video stating, Ignite announces a profitable fourth quarter. I guess the press and the dumb YouTubers were wrong. Shocking. There you have it, Dan Bilzerian, then and now. Who knows what the next controversy he will spark will be. However, one thing's for certain is he still lives an extravagant lifestyle. This brings us to the end of today's video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, we'll see you in the next one.